how do you put your uh, disappointment into, into uh, perspective tonight, you know, the way this game went? Really hard to put it uh, into words, uh, Terry. Uh, we're obviously devastated, disappointed, um, expected better of ourselves. Felt we were capable of, of, uh, of a lot more, obviously not just tonight, but uh, through the whole series. Next up, we'll go to Chris Johnson, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Chris. Sheldon, what do you think was the biggest factor in not being able to close out uh, the Habs in one of these final three games? I think it's really hard to, to pinpoint one thing, probably a little too fresh to, um, a little too fresh to, to, you know, to break it down. I think each, each game was a, a little bit different. Certainly tonight's game was played a lot differently uh, than the previous two. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's, a, it's a little too fresh here, but obviously we didn't, we didn't score enough. We didn't play with the lead. Um, and that made it, that made it hard. We'll go to Kevin McGrand, Toronto Star. Go ahead, Kevin. Sheldon, I know you're not a guy to look for excuses really, but how much of a factor was uh, missing John Tavares essentially for the whole thing and the other injuries, Jake Muzzin tonight and Nick Foligno for a couple of games? Yeah, well, listen, I mean, I think it goes without saying those guys are really important uh, to our team, you know, be it John or Jake and um, Nick, as you say, uh, missed him. And then, you know, he gave us everything that he had in the games that he did play, but uh, was far from uh, far from himself, far from 100 um, percent. But we you know, we, we put ourselves in a good spot in the series and, uh, and didn't get it, you know, didn't get it done, you know, um, despite not having John, despite you know, not having Nick, um, we were in a, we were in a good spot and did close it out. And, you know, we, we've, we added enough pieces and depth and things like that to be able to deal with those types of situations. So there's zero excuses. We'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Sheldon, when you look at specifically this game, how did you feel about the team tonight? What did you sense from them and what was holding them back? Well, the opponent is part of it. Um, you know, they, they did a really good job here today of really clogging things up in the neutral zone, protecting their blue line. Uh, as I said, the game was played a lot differently tonight than the previous two where they really pushed and really came at us. Today, they sat back a lot. And, you know, I, and uh, they were just content to wait, you know, for something to go their way, and it did. Um, I don't know when I go back and look at it. I don't know if I'll find that we gave up even one scoring chance to the, you know, real scoring chance to the to the whole game. Um, certainly at five on five, um, but at the same time, we didn't generate nearly enough, and I think that was their that was their recipe and plan here tonight, and clearly worked for them. We'll go to Jonas Siegel with the Athletic. Go ahead, Jonas. Hey, Sheldon, could you feel some of your top guys starting to press as the series moved along and they continued to get chances but not points? I mean, no, listen, those guys are those, – those guys accept the responsibility that they have, um, you know, to, to produce for the team. I didn't see any sign of them pressing or getting frustrated or anything like that. Um, I didn't think uh, they cheated or their habits or anything like that changed – um, those guys want to win um, as much or more than any other guy we have and um, they're as hard on themselves as anyone. So, um, you know, they, 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 they know the responsibility that they have to the team, but I, I didn't see any sign of frustration, both in watching them on the bench, talking with them before, during and after games. Um, uh, you know, just... Uh, it just didn't, it didn't go their way um, and the chances that they had. And a night like tonight, our entire team uh, struggled to generate much. And the last two questions here, we'll go to Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. Sheldon, we often talk about will beating skill in the playoffs. Did, did this team have enough will to, to close this out when there's 3-1 against a wounded opponent? Uh, I I think our, our guys played hard. Um, 
you know, I get, we have moments in the game where I thought we're in games uh, five and six where, you know, we're on our heels and, and that's not what we want in those moments, you know, but uh, I'm not going to question our team's will or their commitments or anything like that. Um, our guys wanted, you know, wanted to win and wanted to, uh, wanted to push past this here and, and we didn't get it done. Um, part of that's on us. We got to also give uh, credit and respect to Montreal um, they found themselves, you know, uh, I think certainly through game game five and six and seven, but I, I thought you could feel a little bit of a shift in their team. Uh, I felt, you know, when, when Kakagami Caulfield came into the lineup for them, I could, you could just sense uh, things shift a little bit in terms of their depth and their, their speed and skill and those kind of things that uh, changed, uh, changed the dynamic of the series a little bit, even though it took a little time for that traction. But we had our opportunities to, to close this thing out clearly and uh, and failed to do so. But, you know, you you got to give credit to Montreal for the job that they did. And last one here, we'll go to Luke Fox with Sportsnet. Go ahead, Luke. Hi, Sheldon. What was your message to the group after the game? There's some guys on your team. I'm thinking of Jason and Joe who might not have too many more cracks at this. Yeah, our, our guys were – our guys were quite – devastated as you might imagine after the game um so i i I chose not to speak to the to the group post game and look at an opportunity um and the dust settles we'll have the group back together here again in a couple days and you know we'll uh we'll go through those kind of things then thanks sheldon